I include this detail to show some of the uh, structural reinforcing that occurs at the tie beam at the top of the zero lot line masonry wall. This is one of the steel columns for the roof framing. This is a sandwich panel. This sandwich panel is a precast panel cast around some rigid insulation. These are lifted into place and then clamped onto the tie beam as you can see here. Here's an angle embedded in that corner. This angle is welded to that angle and then this precast panel sits on some shims interlocks in this keyway onto this tie beam. As you can see the tie beam is cast into the top of the masonry wall. Here's some reinforcing, vertical reinforcing. So that tie beam is a very important component of that, the top of that wall. Zooming out then we first see that that this, the top of this pilaster has a concrete cap. This concrete cap is poured into the masonry pilaster so that the concrete that's showing on the top of the pilaster is really integral with the, the entire column. This is a precast panel that sits on top of that cap. A beam or the column sits right here. We'll, I'll show you that in a second. Zooming out again then you see this a 3D version of this 2D detail. Here's the insulated panel, the clamp, the embedded angles, and this is the cast concrete in a top of something called a bond beam. This is a masonry unit that has an open top and it's filled with concrete with a reinforcing bar. Note the steel decking is up against this metal plate that holds it away from the wall. An expansion joint goes in here. This is the lightweight concrete poured over a, over a wire mesh and onto the steel decking. The beam below that supports it along that zero lot line wall. This is that same detail except the reinforcing has been beeped beefed up on the top of the wall to take the loads that would be expected from the precast panels above. This is the formwork on one side of the masonry wall. The other one is would be put on at the last minute. So this this is the vertical steel coming out of the masonry wall and it's bent to tie into this bundle of rebar that goes through the top of the concrete beam. Note again this bond beam. This is the open masonry uh, unit. The bottom of that is open so that any concrete poured or either concrete poured or grout goes down into these cells and down into the wall. That means this wall is tied with this beam that runs continuously between pilaster and pilaster. In other words, it ties the pilasters and the walls together. So the concrete and the cap also receives the anchor bolts and the anchor bolts are embedded down in the rebar inside that concrete. This is again the steel for the framing of the roof. 